So would you like to integrate the actual Webflow directly into your Shopify? I'm going to show you how to do this in a very easy way. The very first thing you need to do is to set up a Shopify store. So first of all, you need to understand what exactly is Webflow. Webflow is an amazing place where you can just get started and adding much more integrations and elements directly into your website. In this case, it's going to be Shopify. So to do this, to get started in adding all of those elements and getting signed into Webflow. If you don't have an account into Webflow, you have the link down below in the description so you can get started totally for free. Now here into Webflow, of course, it's going to be helping us to do this totally for free, but we need to have only one website available. So what I need to do, of course, is to make sure that I have just achieved this because I don't need it to add more than just one website. So now that I have my store, I'm going to delete this uh, site. I have achieved this. And now what I need to do is to go into my Shopify. I'm going to sign in and I'm going to, of course, have a store. So if you already have a store into Shopify, we can just follow along with the next section. If you don't have a store and you don't know how to get started, you have once again the link to download below in the description so you can see a full tutorial how you can get started with Shopify store from scratch. Now to set up the uh, Webflow account, once you have created your actual new project, what you can do is to create a new template or a design tool to create for your store. So let's assume, for example, that you can add um, a website here into Webflow and you wanted to add a payment with the Shopify. So there's two options here. What you can do is that if you want to make the integration of the Shopify directly into Webflow, I'm going to go for a new site. I wanted to make sure that I'm using a template and I'm using an online store. So here into category, as you can see, we have a lot of elements. So I choose only the option that says free and to free, I'm choosing, let's go for marketing and here's momentum, for example. So I go here for select, here's my site. Let's go for cool cats, create my site. And there we go. Now, the next thing to do is to add the Shopify buy button. Now, not by force, what you can do is to customize your template. If you're checking out this design created with Webflow, the easiest way here is now to create an actual website. So for example, here, I can delete this button. I don't want her to see this button. So I go for delete. And into this new section, I wanted to add this new button. So for that, I wanted to enable this directly into Shopify. For that, you can focus here into sales channel. Into sales channel, just go and type the word Shopify and go for search Shopify and Shopify app store. This one should be taking you directly into the Shopify app store where you can download a lot of applications. We wanted to focus into one that says buy or button. So you scroll all your way down and try to find the button of payment. So here it is, the buy button channel. So I select this and I go for install. Make sure that this application runs by Shopify. The developer should be Shopify. So I go here, I go for install the application and my buy button should now be installed directly into Shopify. So what I need to do now is to customize my button. So what you can do here is to customize the appearance of the buy button to match your Webflow design. In this case, this design actually works with dark colors and purple in the. So with that in mind, I'm going to go back here. I go for my buy button section and I create my new buy button. So I can go for a specific collection or a product to buy. In this case, I'm going to go for a collection so I can make some kind of advertisement directly into that store. So it says here, add product to cart, direct to checkout. Here's my button style. I can change the background for something much more likely for my store, which in this case here it is something like this. So once you have generated a HTML code, it's time to embeam the buy button into Webflow. So let's go back into Webflow and here I can add an embeamed element. So to add an embeamed element, what you can do is to look out for add element. And here I'm going to type here into searched and I type the word embeamed. So I have this code embeamed element that I can add. So now what is left for me to do here is to customize the background, the size and the typography of my button. So I'm going to scroll a little bit down 
And there you go. If you click into this the button, your store should be sending you directly into the Shopify payments element as you see in them. And if you clicked into your store, you should see that here the embeamed code now appears really easy. So as you can see, this is how we can add the integration of the Shopify directly into Webflow. Just in case you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And well, I can totally suggest you to use Shopify a lot because it is really cool to use Shopify these days. You have the link down below in the description to have a really huge deal though. So thank you once again, guys. See you next time.